says that enter his gate with thanksgiving. Anytime you come to God, you come you should come to God with the attitude of thanksgiving. Because the Bible says, enter his gate. Begin by thanking God for the gift of life. Somebody said today, he said, I don't have money, I don't have a car, I don't have a job, I don't have this. Nothing is working in my life. But you have forgotten that something is working in your life. You know, the devil is a liar. The devil will let you believe that nothing is working. But the devil has forgotten that your liver is still working. Your heart, you can put your hand close to your heart. You see that your heart is beating. It is beating, boom, boom. Gim, gim. It means something is working. Your hand is working. If you know your hand is working or your body parts are working, I want you to lift your voice for two minutes. Let's all thank God for the gift of life. If not because of God, where would we have been? I want everybody lift your voice and let's thank God for the gift of life for two minutes. Lift your voice and let's all pray together. All participants are unmuted. Thank you. We are grateful. We are grateful. Father, I am grateful for the gift of life. And thank you for allowing me to exist. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your mercy. Thank you, God, for your grace. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Father, I thank you. I give a praise, God. I thank you for allowing me to still live the Lord is my portion in the land of the living. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. I worship you, God. Thank you, God, for my body organs, for my heart, for my liver, for my eye, for my ear, that I can walk, I can eat. Hey! Father, we give you praise. All participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. Wherever you are, I just want you to just lift your right hand. Even as you are on this live program, I believe that God has something for you. Lift your voice, lift your hand and declare, Oh God, I thank you. I am grateful for the gift of life. I thank you that I am in the land of the living. I am not in the land of the dead. I am in the land of the living. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Wherever you are, I want you to put your hand on your heart. Tonight is our prophetic night. And I don't want to miss God's blessings. The only way for God to bless you is your heart. This evening, what is the state of your heart? The Bible says, according to Matthew 5 verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Ephesians 3 17, The home of Jesus is your heart. What is the state of your heart? A prayer out of grudges, God cannot hear you. A prayer out of bitterness, God cannot hear you. A prayer out of hurt, God cannot listen to you. Most of us at times we pray, we feel like I've been praying, 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 but no results. How do you pray? How is your heart? If your heart cannot find it, your hand can never find it. So David prayed a prayer that we are going to pray tonight. Create in me a clean heart. Oh Lord, cast me not from thy words, from thy presence, oh God. Psalm 66 verse 18, that if I regard iniquity in my heart the Lord cannot listen this changed my life I want to put your hand on your heart tonight God must speak to us God must hear your prayer it's all about your heart free your heart 
Repeat after me, Lord Jesus. By your word, according to Psalm 66, verse 18, I free my heart from all offenses. I free my heart from all accusations. I free my heart from every betrayal. I free my heart from every trouble in my heart. I free my heart from every bitterness, unforgiveness of the past. I free my heart from every jealousy. I free my heart from every enviness. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart. My heart belongs to you, God. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, direct me. Holy Spirit, tonight, speak to me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you rightly said this prayer, as simple as it is, I'm telling you, Holy Spirit is there. God is going to speak to us. God has forgiven you and you. The Bible says, Christ in me, the hope of glory. May God bless you. I want everybody listening to me. Send this free call, uh, free conference call number to all your family pages. Save a family member. You have no idea. We have so many testimonies like this that, you know, my sister, my brothers, you know, shared on the family page. And I joined this conference call and my life changed to build your personal relationship with God. Tonight is our prophetic night. So God is going to speak. God is always saying something. Knowing God's opinion is very important. The whole of the week we are doing our prophetic direction, activating the power of light. Psalm 18, verse 28. Thou light my candle. So wherever you are, I want you to light your candle. Can you please read these scriptures very quick for me? Psalm 18, verse 28. For those who want to light your candle, it's a prophetic token. You don't need to wait for 31st night, December, as you are crossing over to a new year, then you do candle light. It's too late. You need to activate your light in the season, in the season that we are in, that every darkness must disappear. In the name of Jesus. So read that scripture quickly for me. Amen. Psalms 18, verse 28. For thou will light my candle. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For thou will light my candle. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Lift your candle up wherever you are. And light it right now. I declare. Let there be light in your house. Let there be light in your family. Let there be light in your ministry. Let there be light in your business. Even let there be light on you as a person. In the name of Jesus. Whenever your light is gone. That is when. Nothing works in your life. Proverbs 20, 27. This changed my life. The Bible says that the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Your spirit. Everybody, you have your body, your soul, and what? Your spirit. Your body is just the container. This container, like that. And your spirit is the real you. And the spirit of man, every man. Whether you are born again, whether you are black or white or whoever, yellow, green, whoever you are. Your spirit is, your spirit is the candle of the Lord. Searching all the inward parts of the belly. That's the word of God. Can you read for us, please? Amen. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Searching all the inward parts of the belly. Searching all the inward parts of the belly. Son of God, the spirit of your own life. That is why at times, you know, your spirit is a candle. But candle without fire is useless. Oh, I have candle in my house. I have candle in my bedroom. And there's no light. And if there's no light, and it's still the candle is there without light on the candle. It's still useless child of God. That is why you can have certificate but no job. You can be anointed by hidden. Today we act, we are activating the light of God. Let there be light. God said let there be light. Today I release this word. Let there be light in your family. 
Let there be light in your 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 your, your ch- on your children. Let there be light concerning your health. Receive the light of God in the name of Jesus. I want you to unmute everybody for thirty seconds and declare. Let there be light. Declare from your heart. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. All participants are light. unmuted. Let there be light. 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 All participants are muted. Receive the light of God. The absence of light is what darkness. At times you wake up and you don't feel good. You have eaten, but you are, you are not sick, but you, you don't feel good. It's like your energy is down. Have you ever felt that before? Your, the, the, your energy, what is energy? Power. The light in you is gone. I prophesy, receive the light of God. Receive the light of God. Receive the light concerning your health. Light in your liver. Light in your kidney. Light. When there, Whenever there is light, it simply means that sickness cannot hide in your body organs anybody who is sick tonight in this hour of miracle receive your healing my god if you know you don't feel good if you know there's any part of your body that you know you are sick put your hand there right now believe in the word of god that let there be light that means you darkness leave this organ you darkness leave my family you darkness leave me now Jesus name. I feel the power of God tonight. All those who are on right now, do you know what? I want to just connect right now because something is going to happen. Our prophetic seed is the seed of the 19. The seed of the 19, you can join. You can come in the core queue and as you come in the core queue, I will prophesy as led by the spirit of God. Receive the light of God. Yes, I see a baton given to people and it's the light of God. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 27 verse 1. Very common scripture. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid? There are times you, 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 you are afraid of your f- tomorrow. Fear to fail. Fear to lose. Fear of rejection. Fear. Fear. Even Jesus once upon a time feared. In the garden of Gethsemane, the Bible says that Jesus said, Father, if it is your will, let this cup depart. It was a sign of what? Fear. But you know what? Jesus dealt with fear at its earliest stage. How to conquer fear is this. You need to deal with fear at its earliest stage. The moment you feel fear, you are afraid of something, deal with it at its earliest stage. To fear is not wrong but to harbor fear to warehouse my own word to warehouse fear in you to to hide fear in you for a long time oh my god it can kill there are some people you are dealing with fear because you failed before you are dealing with fear about your past rejection you are dealing with fear because of what you heard about other people i prophesy today put your hand on your body wherever you are shout out in the name of jesus i command the power of fear the spirit of fear to 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 leave you right now put your hand on your body and shout out 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 or mute everybody for 30 seconds we are we are commanding fear to leave by the light of god there can never be the light of god in you and fear will also be in you they cannot stay together fear cannot live with the light of god the light of god cannot live with fear fear to die fear to fail fear to be poor fear to not be married any fear is coming out show you fear out you fear 30 seconds or mute everybody out out, out, participants out, are unmuted. Out, 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 muted now and they I can pray unmute for themselves you. the bible says god did not give us the spirit of fear 
I prophesy, receive the spirit of boldness, the spirit to make it, the spirit to be courageous. Receive it in the name of Jesus. So we have activated the candle. Now we are going to go on to the main subject for the day. In the morning we prayed. All those who were on, no, don't miss any of the spiritual breakfast. It's, 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 so many people are sharing testimonies about this spiritual breakfast. It's all about praying and taking communion. Child of God, the, one of the greatest weapons Jesus left for us, I call it the great inheritance to every believer, was the communion. Because Jesus himself said, do this in remembrance of me. So get your communion ready, the communion bread and the communion wine. We'll seal the prayer after we pray two prayers today. The first prayer is going to be connected to the morning prayer. You know, the morning, it was about the hand of God. If you remember, the morning, every 6 a.m. Eastern, we are on for only 20 minutes prayer. And as you come on, we pray because prayer is what spiritual people do. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Every morning, 6 a.m. Eastern time, 5 a.m. Central time. Tomorrow, join us. Tomorrow is our testimony day. You can you will be filled with a lot of testimonies even as you connect to the testimony day. Every Friday is thank God. It's Friday. It's all about testimonies. Tomorrow, we are doing a special direction with water. So everybody, when you come on, your communion and your water by, must be by your side. After the testimonies, I will bless the water and I will give the instruction. It's in Psalm 29, verse 3 and verse 4. The voice of God is upon the water. Son of God, the Bible says, you may know the truth. These are things we didn't know. But we thank God that now we know. Because you may know the truth and the truth that you will know will set you free. Amen. Now, the hand of God. What is the hand of God going to do? In the morning we prayed. But as I was praying, the Lord spoke to me about what is the hand of God. When we talk about the hand of God, the hand of God does a lot of things. Acts chapter 7, I think verse 50. Can you please read for me? You can read the King James Version and also the NIV Version. The hand of God. Because the hand of God, you know, you can eat because of the hand of God. You can bath because of the hand of God. You can do the everything by the hand of god that is why you need to always say thank you jesus all the time tomorrow in the evening service that's what i'm going to teach and also sunday service about thanking god all the time thank you jesus i can drive thank you jesus i can eat thank you because it's the hand of god at work because the hand of god does all these things acts 7 verse 50 write these scriptures amen acts chapter 7 Verse 50. Have not my hand made all these things? Hmm. Was not my hand did all these things? Have not everything that you can do, your hand, uh, you can eat, you can walk, F is the hand of God. So whatever you can do, even the job you got is the hand of God. The, the, the hand of God does all these things. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 2. The hand of God, he said, the, the hand of God does these things. The hand of God can bless. The hand of God can also curse. The hand of God can give. The hand of God can also take. The hand of God can even fight your enemies. But the hand of God can also fight for you. <laughs> Tonight, you are going to activate the hand of God. I prophesy. May the hand of God be upon your life. May the hand of God be upon you. May his hand be upon your finances. May the hand of God be upon that marriage. May the hand of God be upon that ministry. May the hand of God be upon that business. Everybody lift your hands and shout, the hand of God be upon me. Because when the hand of God is upon a man's life, you will not die before your time. He will preserve you. He will protect you. And he will help you. Isaiah 66 verse 2. Amen. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 2. For all things hath mine hand made. Hmm. And all those things. Yes sir. Continue please. <laughs> Amen. For all those things hath my hand made. And all those things have 
been, saith the Lord. Say yet the Lord. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll continue. But to this man, I will look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. I prophesy. Are you poor? Are you weak? Are you sick? May the hand of God tonight be upon your life. May the hand of God bring that blessing. That some of you, you are supposed to be blessed with fine, uh, 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 fine, uh, money. Uh, you are supposed to be blessed with good health. You are supposed to be blessed with something. For a long time it has delayed. Today, by the hand of God, may it come to you. With, oh my God, I just saw it. The Lord says within 24 hours. 24 hours. Write this in your book. 24 hours, I just saw it. There are six people. Whatever that you are trusting God for, whatever even you thought it will never come to you, the hand of God has delivered it. Oh my God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive the hand of God. If God be for you, who can be against you? Receive the hand of God in the name of Jesus. One thing I, I, I know about the word of God is the hand of God can satisfy. At times you have everything but you're not satisfied. You're not happy. You have money but you're not happy. You are beautiful but you're not happy. You have certificate but you're not happy. You are intelligent but you're not happy. There are people you are dealing with battles you don't know how to, how to go about it out of God, there's a God, I'm telling you, when everything fails, his hand can never fail, I prophesy Psalm 145 verse 6, one of my favorite scriptures, write this scripture to help you, Psalm 145 verse 6, I prophesy in the name of Jesus, may the hand of God be upon your life may the hand of whoever you are watching me from or wherever you are, receive the hand of God, can you read that scripture for us and let's pray Amen Psalms 145, verse 6. The men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. Uh, jump to verse 16 for me. Uh, let me see. J verse 16. Amen. Verse 16. Thou openest thine hand and satisfieth the desire of every living thing. Every living thing. Are you a living thing? Yes. What is your name? Mention your name. Samson I'm watching. Every living thing, his hand will satisfy. If you, are, if you know you are a living thing, I'm not talking about to non-living things. Every living thing, that means you are a human being, you are a living thing. I prophesy. Receive the hand of Jesus. Receive the hand of God. May the hand of God satisfy you financially. May the hand of God satisfy you concerning your assignment. God has given you a gift, a purpose. May the hand of God cause this to manifest. Receive the hand of Jesus. My head there. I ready to pray. I ready to pray. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray simple prayer. Just four minutes. Check the time for me. Everybody, you are going to just release the hand of God in every area of your life. Let the hand of God bless me. Let the hand of God help me. Let the hand of God disconnect me Let from evil. Let the hand of God satisfy me. So focus on satisfaction. Can you read that scripture again? Psalm 145 verse 16. The hand of God will satisfy every living soul. Amen. Thou openest thy hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. Hmm. Every living. So you are also part of it. Are you ready? Let's lift our voice for four minutes that God let your hand satisfy me. Let your hand satisfy me financially. Satisfy me concerning my work with God. Satisfy me. I want satisfaction. Life is to enjoy, not to endure. Lift your voice for four minutes. Let's all pray together. Oh, satisfy me, God. Let the hand of God satisfy me. Let your hand satisfy me. Let your hand satisfy me. Let the hand of God 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 satisfy my family. Satisfy 
yes, that is my satisfaction, 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 satisfaction. Let the hand of God bring me satisfaction of life concerning my assignment, concerning my breakthrough. Let the hand of God satisfy me. Satisfy me, God. Satisfy me, God. Satisfy me, God. The hand of God satisfy me. Let the hand of God satisfy me. That is the prayer. Let the hand of God you can put it on the screen. Let the hand of God satisfy me. Bring me satisfaction. Let the hand of God bring me satisfaction. Financial satisfaction. In the name of Jesus. Ministry satisfaction. My calling. My assignment. Let the hand of God. Let the hand of God. Let your hand of God satisfy me. Let your hand, oh God, satisfy me. Let your hand, let your hand satisfy me. Bring me satisfaction in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice. Let your hand bring me satisfaction. Let your hand bring me satisfaction. Let your hand bring me satisfaction. This week, this month, this year, 2024, bring me satisfaction. I connect to satisfaction. Oh God, satisfy me. Satisfy, satisfy, satisfy my children, my family, my loved ones. In the name of Jesus, my husband, my wife, let the hand of God satisfy them. In the name of Jesus, Rakoshadaba, Rakadabadaba, Rakoshadaba, Rakoshadaba. In the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God bring satisfaction. Let the hand of God bring satisfaction. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kolobo Shadaba. Oh God, satisfy me. 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 Oh God, satisfy my children. Oh God, satisfy my partners. Oh God, satisfy me. In the name of Jesus. All participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive satisfaction. This week I prophesy is your week of satisfaction. This month is your month of satisfaction. This year is your year of satisfaction. You shall be satisfied. That means you shall be complete. You shall be complete. Life is to complete. Life is not to compete. I prophesy, receive supernatural satisfaction in Jesus' name. Whilst we're praying, before we pray the second prayer, whilst we're praying, there's somebody, you are on the call right now. When you go to the washroom, there's something that is like, it's not that you, you are getting constipation, but you, that you struggle in the washroom, in the restroom. You struggle. There's an issue going on with your rectum rectum if you're that person let me pray for you if you have been experiencing this for some time i saw it god wants to satisfy you that pain is at times unbearable you hate it it's a challenge but i see god healing you now if you're on come in the court queue let me pray for you quickly before we go on with the second prayer i feel the power of god i see angels standing by everyone in your house Wherever you are, in your bedroom, in your kitchen, as you are driving, I just want to connect to this. And let me pray for you. So if another person, when you go to the washroom, it's like there's something, it's like it's unbearable. You go through some issues, some pains and other things. If another person, press star six and come in the call queue and let me pray for you right now. If that person, if that is you. Please kindly hit star six and unmute yourself. If that is you, quickly hit star six. God bless you. Geraldine, your line is open, please. 
Yeah, I'm standing in the gap for my husband. My husband, he won. He's having those issues, and it's been going on for a while. He's not here with me, so I'm standing in the gap for him. I pray in the name of Jesus. Distance is not a hindrance. Wherever he is, because I saw it, I saw a supernatural surgery taking place now. The Lord says that pain is leaving him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You are free in Thank Jesus, Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And 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 you, you, you and, and yourself. No, let me prophesy that same person yourself the law says there's something about yes. your finances your finances you have been praying about your finances yes, is it true yes sir it's true stretch your hands i'm telling you this month before we end this month mark today's date i see unexpected money coming to you now Thank receive you. it in jesus name yes. amen bless you i receive it amen Thank let's, you. let's call her Genesis, Genesis, your line is open, please. Hi, Pastor Samson. I have a lot of issues um, with the restroom as well, and I actually have to go see a gastroenterologist uh, sometime in June. I've been having issues for years um, with using the bathroom, and unfortunately I have to take colon cleanse pills and laxatives uh, just to produce a, a bowel movement, unfortunately. I want you to put your hand on your abdomen. And I want to connect to this prayer because I saw this. I saw a supernatural surgery taking place. God is fixing it. God is a fixer. His hand will fix it. His hand will fix it. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you right now. If you are dealing with this issue, I command freedom. Be healed right now. 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 Be healed. I pray and I speak into your intestines. I speak into your digestive system. I speak into your rectum everywhere. I pray. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Jesus name. Amen. Right after the this, this service, just mm -hmm. drink a glass of water and declare I'm healed seven times on it and drink it. You will share testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Deanna, your line is open, please. Hi, Papa. It's Deanna. Um, I've been having issues like that for the last few years. Constipation, even with laxatives and stuff it doesn't even work and i'm just getting to an end i don't even know what else to try put your hand on your lower part of your abdomen right now i feel the power of god i feel some heat another hand will touch you is the hand of jehovah is the hand of god you've tried this several times it's not working but god says my hand will fix it hey my hand yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be free. You are free. The Lord says to also Amen. pray for you concerning asthma. Asthma. When you were young, yes. uh, uh, have you been breathing? You said what? I've been having trouble breathing. Allergies kicks off my asthma. And no doctors here want to keep giving me my asthma medication. It's like $200 and I can't afford it. And then I struggle breathing at night yes. during the day because of the allergies, and then I wheeze. Yes, I, I just want heal it from me. I heal saw. It, me up. Yes, I saw concern your breathing like that. Let me pray for you. <laughs> I use you as a point of contact. There's somebody you to you have asthma. You are on the line right now. In the name of Jesus, maybe you are watch. I prophesy in Jesus' name that asthma is leaving you now. If you know you are connected to asthma or you have asthma, you have a friend or a loved one, just connect to this prayer, general prayer. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, heal your people, God. Father, heal us now. Heal her now in Jesus' name. The Lord says you are free. Your past is over. Amen. Amen. 
Amen, amen. Those are all the callers, please. Yes, let, let's pray our two minutes prayer, then we'll prophesy to the prophetic seed. Again, is the seed of the 19. If you want to support the ministry, there's a prophetic direction that we are doing about the light of God in the season after the eclipse. We are dealing, we are we, we releasing the light of God. God is moving powerful, and I want to connect. This, this second prayer is very powerful prayer about the hand of God that changed my life. Genesis chapter 2, <laughs> verse 15. In the morning, I, I told everybody to get this particular scripture. Read it, meditate the whole day. I want to read this scripture for me. Read the King James Version and the NIV Version. Genesis 2 verse 15. Amen. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Again, and the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden mm. of Eden to dress it and to keep it. The Lord God took. <laughs> Everybody, write this in your paper or your book or anywhere. The Lord would take me and place me in my garden of Eden. What is garden of Eden? Who worked the garden? Who created the garden? The man had no idea. <laughs> God can take you to a place. By the time you get there, there are ceremony and you to get money. You will not have to labor. You don't have to work. You just go and enjoy some. There are people, they will do the labor. They will work, but they cannot enjoy. But there are some people, you will go there and you just enjoy the, the, the labor of others. It's in the Bible. I prophesy, God is in the business tonight, taking people to good places. Your garden of Eden, the Bible says everything was in the garden. Everything. Food, water, happiness, enjoyment. God said, enjoy. <laughs> I prophesy. That's, I want you to picture this. You know, this is what we call meditational prayer. I want you to meditate and speak from your heart. God, take me to my dream house. Take me to that place. That prophecy. Because the day your prophecy will manifest, that is your expected day. Ah, the Bible says, For I know the thoughts I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. That expected end is the day of prophecy manifestation. Ah, my God. Any good prophecy you have received, it will come to pass. Read the other version for me and let's pray for three minutes, only three minutes, that God take me to the place. If it's marriage, picture that, your wedding day, and Prophet Samson is standing by you and say, can you kiss the bride or can you kiss the groom? Yes. Imagine it. Just imagine if your car is, you need a car. Know that Prophet Samson is dedicating your car. If it's a house, see me dedicate. You picture it from picture to future. From picture to future. You need to picture it. When you picture, you can venture into it and you can capture. I prophesy tonight. Whatever that belongs to you, receive it in the name of Jesus, my God. Read the other scripture. I feel the power of God tonight. Oh. Amen. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, NIV version. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and to take care of it. The God took what took him. So God can carry. Hey, hey. God can carry you and place you into money, into cash. <laughs> God said, yes, I know your background is bad. I know you didn't go to school. I know, you, I know your bank account is not good. I know your credit score is bad. You know what I just said? I just saw five people. God is fixing your credit right now. Oh, my God. By tomorrow, check your phone after this prayer. I see your credit score. God is fixing your credit score. My God. I just saw it. Five people, you share testimony. It's a 24-hour miracle. Your credit score that was bad is going to be fixed. God is canceling that debt in the name of Jesus. My God. So God, the Lord God took the man. That's what some people don't understand. Why is God blessing this guy? Why is God blessing this lady? And they are just jealous of you. Listen to me. The greatest blessing is the blessing God blesses you until you are envied by your enemies. <laughs> that is the highest blessing. 
The only evidence that you are blessed by God is that enemies must envy you. Somebody must envy you. Any blessing that nobody envies you is not a blessing. That's why they talk against you. That's, that's why they don't like you when you go for family meetings. This year, the next family reunion, ah, summertime, Makolobo Shanaba. God will raise a standard against your enemies. We are going to pray the last prayer that God take me. The question is, where? Take me to the place of my healing. Take me to the place of my happiness. Take me to the... Everybody, there's something you want God to do. Are you ready for that? Three minutes, let's prophesy this. Oh God, let your hand take me and place me into prosperity. Let your hand take me into my greatness. Take me into my manifestation. Let your hand deliver me from death. Let your hand deliver me from sickness. Lift your voice and let's declare... Three minutes right now. Rako Shadabadaba. Rakadalabadaba. Roko Shadabadaba. Yes, let your hand. 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 Take me and place me. Rako Shadabadaba. Roko Shadabadaba. Makola Badaba. Let your hand. 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 Let your hand, let your hand. Kola bro shadaba, kado la bro shadaba, ikada bada bada bada. Roko shadaba. Let your hand carry me and place me into my garden of Eden. Let your hand carry me into prosperity. Let your hand carry me into my blessing, my manifestation. Let your mighty hand, let your mighty hand. Makola bada bada, rakoda bada bada. Let your mighty hand, let your mighty Hand. Let your mighty hand, 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 let your mighty hand carry me into my greatness, let your mighty hand carry me into my elevation, let your mighty hand, let your mighty hand, put la broshadaba, rakadabaraba, 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 koshadabaraba, let your mighty hand, let your mighty hand, let your mighty hand, makolaraba. Rako Shadaba, Raka Baraba, Kadabaraba, Rako Baba, Raka Baba, Ikaraba, Imakusha, Raka Baba, Raka Baba, let your body have, let your body have, let your body have, let your body have, Kadabaraba, Raka Baba, Raka Baba, Raka Baba, Raka Baba, Kadabur Shadaba, Raka Baba, let your body have, let your body have. Shakuraba, Rakadabaraba, Ikadabaraba, Kola Mushaba, let your mighty hand in the name of Jesus, let your mighty hand, let your mighty hand in the name of Jesus carry me, let your mighty hand carry me and place me into my season of greatness in the name of Jesus, let your mighty hand place me into financial breakthrough, let your mighty hand give me that position, let your mighty hand. And they can unmute Grant me themselves. My request. In the name of Jesus, lift your right hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your mighty hand bring me to the place of peace. Do you know what I saw? May the hand of God take you away from in a bad place and place you to a good place. He said the hand of God took the man to the garden. He took the man from the dust because he used the dust to create man. And after using the dust, picking man from dust, he placed man in the garden. Green, trees, fruit. Oh my God. Somebody, you are moving from the dust life. From your mess life to your message life. You are moving from that trash to be the treasure. I prophesy that obstacle is broken. God is turning that obstacle to be your miracle. God is turning that test to be a testimony. God says today is the last day. Shall my pass is over everybody. Lift your two hands wherever you are. Listen to me. This is a prophetic declaration. For 10 seconds. Unmute everybody. Raise your hands and shout. My pass is over. My pass is over. My pass is over. All participants are unmuted. 
My pass is over. And they can unmute themselves. In the name of Jesus. Get your communion by your side right now. Get your communion by your side. Get your communion. Get your communion. We'll do the sort for the last. The Bible says in the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the, the, the bread. Take the bread first. Then after that, I'll prophesy to those who are on. Those, Yes, he took the bread like this. He gave thanks and he broke the bread. After breaking the bread, he said, this is my body. Take, eat, do this in remembrance of me. When you are taking communion, take your time. The breaking of the bread is the breaking of what? Protocol. In the Bible, all the miracles that happened in the Bible, protocols were broken. Virgin Mary without any man, as I said the other time, broke the law of reproduction. What is the law of reproduction? The law of reproduction says a man should meet a woman before a baby will be born. But Mary without any sperm, any man, was able to reproduce. Tonight, as we're about to break the bread, tell yourself, I'm breaking protocols. Do you know the protocol you're breaking? You God, you're breaking the protocol of moving from nowhere to somewhere. <laughs> moving from nobody to somebody. God took man from the dust and placed the dust object, the dust creature into the garden and said, enjoy. Hey, that means God can take you from nowhere and make you a millionaire. God can make you a pastor. God is unpredictable. David slept in the bush as a bush boy. Woke up as the next king. God is unpredictable. Queen Esther slept as a, an orphan. A slave. Woke up as the next queen. God is unpredictable. We are about to break the bread. You are about to break protocol. Joseph slept in the prison as a prisoner. Woke up as the next prime minister. God is unpredictable. Paul, who was Saul, was a murderer. Slept, woke up, became, became the deliverer. The murderer became the deliverer. Child of God, there's something in you. Are you ready to break the bread? When you're breaking the bread, the Bible says he took the bread, but when he was giving it to them to eat, he did not give them bread. He gave them his body. So what changed the bread to become the body is by breaking. Let's all lift the communion up. Jesus. Let's shout Jesus three times. Everybody, or meet everybody three times. Jesus, the third one, will break it. That I'm breaking protocol. Marital protocol. Any protocol you want to break, you know it. Law of chemistry, law of reproduction, any banking of finance, like anything, God, I'm breaking it. The law of banking and finance, God, I break it. One, Jesus. Two, Jesus. Three, Jesus. 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 Now break Jesus. it. Jesus. Break it. Now what you have is the body. So this is the body of Christ. I believe in it. Christ in me, the hope of glory. In Jesus' name, take it. And when you take the communion, you take over the life of Christ. Longevity of life. I pray for you. In this season, God will give you long life. Jesus died at a 33 years. A longevity of life. He said, I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. Jesus died for you to gain more years. Jesus could have been like Methuselah in the Bible. Who could have been a thousand years? But because he loves you, he said, I will die. Then when you eat my flesh, you take over my life. I pray for you. May God give you long life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now pick the Holy Communion bread, uh, uh, wine. The Bible says, after that manner, Jesus took the cup of wine like this and said, this is my blood. The blood of the new covenant 
He said, do this in remembrance of me. Lift it up, every house. Wherever you are, just lift it up. Father, we thank you for giving us this weapon. The Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamp and by the words of their testimonies. The prophet said, let them put their blood at the doorpost. When I see the blood, that is the angel of death, will not enter. Because anytime the angel of death sees the blood, he sees the death of Christ. <laughs> God has paid the debt. You are not supposed to die. In Jesus' name, amen. Take it. If you are home, make a mark on your forehead that I am saved and preserved in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the salt will be the last direction. All those who have documented your seed, just come in the cocky quickly. Let me give you your prophet, your prophetic word quickly. Quickly, let's do that. Q&A session has started. Hello? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, please. First caller, uh, Ms. Kia Raymond. Yes, please. Yeah, Kia, stretch once and let me prof prophesy to you. I, I, I don't know what you are going through now, but the Lord says, I saw some like, like, like you're, 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 you're looking new, like new, like your new self is coming. It's like something, an old thing is living and a new thing. And the evidence is this. I don't know whatever has been going on, but I saw concern even your, your, your body, you know, your body, your physical body. Uh, is there anything like rushes, you know, or any place or any breakout anywhere like that? Because I saw God was giving you a new self or a new thing. Is there anything that you have experienced in the past concerning any breakout or any rushes or anything concerning? Because I saw something new. The old was gone and new. So that is the word, new. But I saw that not only... Mm -hmm. Yes, is there any confirmation to that? Um, I would break out like like on my face, but nothing like a rash though. Okay, yes, break out. Okay. I see something like that. I see fresh like everything. Because the Lord like anything that you were stressed off, the Lord says he's taking away the load. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Receive new mm -hmm. things. Even that there's going to be new things physically concerning even your living condition. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. Father, this is Prophet Shira. Yes, sure. Stretch your hands and let me prophesy to you. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing something like a horn, like a trumpet, but it's a long horn. And the angel has given to you. The Lord says, concerning your prophetic ministry, I see God is about to show you deeper revelation. I see you blowing a trumpet, blowing a trumpet. It's a sign of walls coming down. Walls of Jericho that was surrounding your life is coming down. You're about to see new things mm -hmm. that you have never seen before. Receive the double portion of your anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Receive it. Amen. Next caller. Amen. Next caller. Sophia, this Martin. is Morgan. Yes, this is Morgan. Yes, yeah, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. This is what the Lord is showing me. The Lord says, I see something like, like a paper. And the, somebody gave you the paper. And the paper was like from a male, a male person, a, a male. So, and it was like a paper. And you open it and you were just reading and you were excited. The Lord said there's something concerning a relationship that God is going to approve for you. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Next caller, Frim Pong. Yes, this is Frim Pong. Yeah, Frim Pong. Stretch once and let me prophesy to you. This what the, I'm seeing yes. two things. The Lord says that I'm seeing something concerning your your head your head anything that yes. the enemy tried to attack you concerning he your health especially your head i come against it in the name of jesus i stop it anything that yes. will affect your head and your eye 
at the same time i come against it i stop it be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus yes is there any confirmation concerning that before i i talk about yes yes i woke up this morning and i'm having severe headache um it's better now but it was my head and um my eyes also so it is very true and it's been happening wow the law says it's gone after the conference call when you get home wherever you are just use holy communion the, the blood believe that is blood and use it to wash your face three times and say i am free because i see it's an attack be free in the name of jesus yes. do you know anybody by Amen. name melissa Amen. melissa have you heard that name before yes. melissa yes about job yes. issue um yes okay i work with her okay because i'm seeing something concerning your working environment but the law says be calm because there's going to be elevation others a lot of people are going Amen. to be fired a lot of people are you know going to be fired at your job or your company or something but the law says relax see what the hand of god will Amen. do for you in the midst of this god will lift you up in jesus name that's your prophetic Amen. word yes anybody Amen. i use this Thank as a you. point of contact anybody who is on the call online and you have a job issue receive elevation and promotion in jesus name amen next caller amen. next caller amen caller miss julie dennison julie dennison yeah julie dennison stretch once and let me uh, prophesy to you my god I i'm seeing something like lemon and i ask god what is the meaning of lemon and the lord said i should pray for you concerning any attack concerning women in your you're like people in your family especially your mother's bloodline like that concerning cancer concerning cancer that cancer is over that thing that always people go through cancer 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 because i i saw a name like is it kia or kia have you heard that name before kia or kaya or something like that Kila is my it's my niece my brother's daughter your brother's daughter Dennis. yes and and, and 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 how old is she she about 31 and her mother died of cancer and her grandmother from her mother's side died of cancer oh my god because i saw cancer 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 and the lord said i should i saw the the lemon i need to give a direction concerning what i saw i saw lemon i said what is this but you know lemon has the juice there's something the liquid it the, i'll show i'll you pray on it and use it as a direction it will not come near your house i use you as a point of contact may god protect you may god preserve you whatever kill others cannot kill you may god preserve your life and anybody that you are watching me or you are on the call right now that people are dying from cancer or you you, you have been diagnosed with cancer i pray for you be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed so i'm free in jesus name amen. amen you are free thank you sir may god bless you amen please make sure that you have sown your prophetic seed of 19 in your currency before you enter the queue amen next caller hi this is sophia yes sophia stretch once and let me prophesy to you thank you jesus this one i'm seeing i see the hand of god upon your life the hand of god is going to manifest favor and number two lately check um i don't know your your teeth your your mouth like your teeth i don't know what exactly is going on but you just pray concerning your teeth or your 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 mouth like your either your tooth uh your gum or oh like when was the last time you visited the, the, the dentist? I do have an appointment next month. Next month, okay. After the appointment, before the appointment, pray. You can put salt in water and read Mark chapter 9, verse 49 to 50. That Jesus said, have salt in our bodies. Use it to just wash your mouth. Like, because I, I just saw something and the Lord said, I should pray for you concerning anything that will affect your jaw. Your jaw. Like when you are chewing something or something like that. Yes. God will deliver you. If there's any any uh, confirmation to you can let me know if there's anything you have started experiencing lately or something let me also know may god bless you god bless next caller mr royce 
the voice to offer? Yes, stretch once and let me prophesy. The Lord says concerning your finances, I see financial elevation. Receive it right now. Anything concerning your finances, the Lord says it has been released. Receive it in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Was, God bless you. Amen. Let's call her. God bless you. Amen. Miss Patrice? Yes, Miss Patrice, thank you. Yes, Patrice, let me pray for you. The, the Lord says I should pray for you concerning one thing, concerning your peace of mind. Your peace of mind. Whatever is going on, whatever uh, you are going through, just from now till the end of the week, just connect that God, I connect to the my peace concerning your peace of mind your peace of mind a lot of things are trying to come around you even your own family your own people around you is like that but god is going to give you peace so the lord says he's giving you peace and take your time yeah. you know don't let don't keep things in your heart free your heart free your mind you know yeah. I even I, i'm talking about your own you know family close family yeah. close 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 yes, family sir. yes God, is God is going to uh, bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Prophet. Amen. Next caller, Ms. Dawn. Hi. Praise the Lord. Hi, Prophet. Yes. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good. Stretch once and let me prophesy to you. This two things I'm seeing. The Lord says concerning your like your bones like that like concerning your bones and concerning your joints your body joints like yeah. god is going to strength i see strength coming strength 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 yes and number two i saw something like a flag and they've dressed you with a flag the meaning of the flag simply means victory whatever you are battling, Amen. god is giving you victory 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 is your portion in this season receive it in jesus name amen i receive it amen may god bless you god bless you as well amen next caller miss geraldine hi prophet it's geraldine high tower yes stretch once and let me uh, prophesy to you i'm seeing a girl like your daughter like that a girl like a daughter and it's like lately there's going to be something like um her her living like something concerning her character or something it will stop bothering you but the lord says he's in control just pray for her and just you know touch her pray bless her because something is going on with her life. It's like a daughter, like that. One of your children, like a daughter, yeah. one particular one. That's going to be like a concern. But the Lord says his, his, his hand will deliver him from that attack. It's an attack. Yes. If you have seen yeah. anything like that, you can. Yeah. Is there any confirmation like that? Yes, sir. Yes. You're absolutely right. My oldest daughter. Yes. And, and how long has she been, you know, doing this well it, it just um it's been a while i think it, I, it's like she's kind of getting distracted and kind of being off course and okay. it kind of concerns me mm -hmm. um with different relationships with different people and mm -hmm. things of that sort mm -hmm. so i was just like literally thinking about it I had a conversation with her probably about three days ago about it wow you know god has heard your prayers for god to see this let listen to me god says yeah. he's in charge but what you do is call her let her kneel down bless her bless her don't you know curse yeah. her bless her and number two thing is concerning mm -hmm. uh, god should order your steps anything concerning your living condition like that anything that is going on don't be discouraged because i see something like trying to discourage yeah. you even with your marriage or relationship or something but yeah. be relaxed don't move yeah. Please, don't take any decision now. Just let God lead you, especially even concerning the marriage and concerning job, you know, in relation to job. That's what I'm seeing. God says it is done because you have been troubled. You have been confused about what to do, where to go, what to yes. do. Is it true? Yes. Yes, sir, it is true concerning the job. I just finally just recently moved. 
Um, so we, we got a new place, but it was, it's, it's about the job. So I've been in the middle, of, you know, a lot of decisions lately. I mean, we just moved probably about three, four days ago. Wow. So you just moved three days, four days ago, and now it's about a job. So I just, the law says it's going to come through. Just anoint your feet. You know, sign up for some consulting uh, by tomorrow because this is an emergency. I need to give you a direction. So sign up for some consulting, uh, and um, they will schedule it for one on one, and I'll talk to you. Is that okay? Yes, sir, it is okay. May God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Next caller, Tony Daniels. Hi, Prophet. How are you? I'm good. Yes. Put your hand on your face. My God. I just saw a light shining on your face. The Lord says he's released this season. I see the favor of God upon your life. Receive the favor Amen. of God in Jesus' I name. Receive it. Amen. In the God name bless of you. Jesus. That's your prophetic word. Amen. Next caller, Miss Latanya. Oh, sorry, Miss Dr. Glamora. Good evening, Prophet. Um, this is Glamora. Yeah, Dr. Glamora, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. These are the two things I'm seeing. The Lord says He's going to come through for you concerning progress. Because you are at times there's a bit of fear about what like concerning what is going to happen about your job or money. The Lord says He's going to help you. So don't be worried. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And number two, uh, concerning forgetfulness. Forgetfulness. You know, when you are there at times, you you, you are not like this. At times, you be, you begin to forget things easily. You know. Yeah. It is so. It is so, prophet. Yes. Touch your head and let me pray for you. I pray that may God give you retentive memory. <laughs> Receive it in the name of Jesus. And I use you as a point of contact. There are nine people you are on the call. You two is like you you are going through the same thing. You are always like losing a lot of you know like concerning memory or something. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's call her. Amen. Miss Pam. Yes, this is Pam. Yeah, Pam. Stretch once and let me prophesy. Pam, can you touch your knee? Your two knee, please. Your knee. Yeah. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. I touch you by faith. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your muscles, your knee area. Anything that will stop your movement, I come against it in Jesus' name. Amen. You are free. You are free. Amen. Amen. Next caller, Miss Lisa. Me? Yeah, hello. Hello, this is Lisa. Yeah, Lisa, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. I pray and prophesy to you right now in the name of Jesus. I saw something like a glass of water and you were drinking it. And when you see water, water, the Bible says the voice of God is upon the water. So God will satisfy you. Anything that is trying to take away satisfaction, God says, I will satisfy you. I will satisfy you. Be satisfied. Be satisfied. Be happy. Anything take to take away your peace. I release peace to the house. I release happiness to the house. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you. Amen. Thank you. Bless you. Amen. Miss Latanya Lopez? Hi, good evening. Yes, good evening. Let me prophesy to you. Yes. Uh, can you please put your hand on your chest? Let me prophesy to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord says, concerning your whole body, like your health, I see God healing you. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything in your body, anything hiding, I command healing. I command total healing. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Amen. I receive it. I receive it. Thank you. Good evening, Delani. Quest, please. Yeah, Prophetess Delali, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. I I'm seeing something like a crown like that a crown and it's like they've put a crown but the crown is like the crown that they normally wear at weddings very beautiful crown and it's like they place on you 
the lord has given you and uh, like around the crown all around is like stars different 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 stars and every different mm-hmm. stars represent different regions different locations mm-hmm. like that so there's something connecting like a networking that god is about to let you shine i pray it is it, it's, it's looking as if it is delaying is slow but the lord says listen to me he is going to let you shine like the bright morning star and it will be in mm-hmm. not only one location eyes have not seen ears have not heard and this is what god want to do i pray f- and prophesy may you shine in this season from now till o- o- august this year whatever that god gave you in the year 2018 that needs to manifest this is the season receive manifestation you are blessed in jesus name amen, amen. bless it. you god bless you amen Next caller, Miss Victoria Butler. Um, yes, I wanted to get prayer for my mother who's in the hospital and also my daughter. She's endeavoring to go to college. Okay. I pray for your mom and your daughter. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you stretch your hands like this? Yes. May God give you satisfaction. And I release satisfaction for your daughter. And I release healing to your mom. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release healing to your mom. I release healing even to your own self. The Lord has to pray for you uh, concerning your 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 throat like that, your neck area like that, your throat. I pray that uh, anything that will cause any uh, any uh, itchy or any flu-like symptom, anything like that, I come against it. May God preserve you and may God protect you. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you. Amen. Next caller, Sue France. Yes, Sue France. France. Yes, stretch your hands and let me prophesy to you. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Mm. The Lord says, I'm seeing somebody standing in front of you and like you you are meeting the person. I saw somebody like that. It's like forward like that standing in front of you and you are you know, like the, the, but there's a distance but you are standing in front of the person the lord says whatever that needs to come to you this season mm-hmm. god will give you speed the blessing mm-hmm. of speed receive it concerning finances for anybody to help mm-hmm. you any helper of destiny may god release them because that person who is standing there mm-hmm. is your helper may god connect you to the helper of destiny in jesus name mm-hmm. amen God bless you. Thank you, Papa. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Sister Diano. I want everybody to get your sword ready. We are going to do the sword direction after I finish prophesying. Diana, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. Hello. Hi, hi, Papa. Yes, please. Stretch once and let me prophesy to you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Number one, may God give you total healing, complete healing in the name of Jesus. Number two, I release happiness. May you be satisfied in this season by the word of God. Amen. God bless you. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Uh, God bless you, Prophet. This is Monique Porter. Yeah, Monique Porter, please stretch your hands and let me prophesy to you. Can you please uh, uh, touch your body right now? Touch your body. I'm using this as a point of contact. I pray for Zoreen and I pray for you as well. I pray that in the name of Jesus, Satan, take your hand from this family. I pray for protection. I pray for preservation. I pray for peace. Let the peace of God reign in the house i command every bad energy to leave the house every darkness to leave the house now let there be light let there be light let there be light jesus let there be light jesus let there be light jesus let there be light amen in the name of jesus bless you amen um prophet Prophet Victoria, God bless you, Brown Prophet. 
Yes, please. Stretch once and let me prophesy. Can you put your hand on your heart? Let me prophesy to you. <laughs> the, the Lord says anything. I see some like a sentence, like written on the, on a sheet of paper, like a sentence. And all of a sudden, I saw somebody trying to cancel it. It's like some a sentence that has been written by hand, like pen. And it's like somebody want to cancel it. Any word of God concerning your life, nobody can destroy it. Nobody can use their voice or their effort to destroy whatever that God has said concerning your life and that of your children. Yeah. I release long life. Anybody who is busy yeah. trying to cancel, to cancel something that will be against you, I, 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 I stop it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be free. I pray that may God come through. The sentence of God concerning your life, it shall surely manifest in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my prophet. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Sister Natanya Rivera. Yes, please stretch your hands and let me prophesy to you. Yes, stretch your hands and let me prophesy to you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. These are the two things. H uh, how old is Jonathan? Fifteen. Fifteen. I use you as a point of contact. I pray for Jonathan. The Lord says, I should tell you this. Don't be so worried. Don't be so concerned like too much. Just pray for him. Just touch his picture or touch mm. him all the time and just bless him when even he, he does anything don't complain too much just bless him bless him more say positive things you'll be great you'll be this is that okay do that more because he, he has reached a season the blessing you release is going to help him through life number two the Lord says Amen. yourself as you pray concerning anything concerning muzzle pool you know muzzle muzzle pool like that your muzzle yes. yes i saw concerning your muzzle like that it's like a like a, it's like a pool like that like a muzzle pool or concerning your muscles i don't know whether you have been experiencing anything at times you feel, i see this numbness or something like it's about the muscles i pray in the name of jesus mm -hmm. i pray that may god yes. heal you and may god set you free is there any confirmation or anything you have been experiencing about your muscles like my, my hands get numb mm -hmm. at times and my behind my knee yes the muscle behind the yes. knee is tight yes due to the bone and bone situation yeah. that's going on wow i pray for you be healed jesus be healed jesus I amen I god bless you in the name of jesus Christ. bless you god bless you Papa Samson. amen tonight good night the sword direction everybody get short by your side Get your salt, please. Get your salt right now. We are going to apply the salt. Yes, this is my salt. I want everybody to get salt. See salt. You know, prophetic Pastor, cookies. This is Dana Watson. You said what? This is Dana. Yeah. Watson. Dana, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. Dana, stretch once. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing this thing. I saw something like two candles and it was there were light on it and you were, it was shining. The Lord says concerning your child, like your daughter. Uh, do you have any daughter? Yes, sir. And, and, and how old is your daughter? She's 30. 30. I pray for her right now. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for peace of mind. Peace of mind. Is yeah. she, is she, um, uh, uh, does she has a child? No, sir. No yet. Okay. I, 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 I need to pray for her. I, I connect my faith to your faith. And I prophesy fruitfulness and happiness. Jesus Christ. Fruitfulness and happiness. No weapon formed against her shall prosper. Father, order her steps. To know you well. And to, Father, to trust you. That you are the Alpha and the Omega. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. God bless you. Keep, uh, keep on praying for uh, uh, your daughter more. Just um, later you can sign up for some consult. I need to talk to you privately about some directions about candle. Is that okay? Later, not in a rush. Yes. Maybe next week is fine. You can sign up uh, for some uh, some consulting. 
and I'll give you uh, your prophetic instruction. May God bless you. Yes, sir. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Yes, please. And when you come on, try to remind me about the two candles and your daughter, please. May God bless you. Amen. Next caller. Good evening. This is Victoria Adams. Yes, yeah, Victoria, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. Victoria, the Lord says I should pray yes, for, for, for your back, like your back. Yes, yes. When you are there, how do you feel about your back? Sometimes it uh, gets very stiff and I have to stand up and bend and move and stretch. Wow. Who is Jerome? Jerome? Um, I have a grandson named Jerome and also his dad is named Jerome. His dad's name is Jerome and the dad, what is the name of the dad? That is your in-law, the dad's father. You talk, you're talking about my grandson's yeah, father? Yeah, you, know, your, you said your grandson's father is Jerome. And your grandson too is yeah. Jerome. And the father, I'm talking yeah. about, that is your in-law. Like, no, no, no. The, like, the father. The, yeah, like, the father of your in-law. Mm, you don't know? I don't know. Okay. Let me, let, me, let me pray. I said Jerome. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, because it's about the, the, your grandson's father. That's what I'm, I refer. But I yes, see Jerome something. Jerome Williams. His last name, William. William. I pray for him in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, you, deliver Jesus. him. He's a good boy. Father, deliver yes. him. Set him free. Any trap yes, that has Lord. been set, I come against it. It will not work. Help concerning his job. He's going out and he's coming in. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Amen. In God Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Let's call her. Everybody Amen. get your salt ready, please. Get your salt ready. Amen. Uh, Cynthia Paye? Yes. Yes, prophet. Yes. Yeah, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. This is what the Lord is showing me concerning two things. Who is Morel? Mo Morel. Morel. That's my mom. That's your mom. mom. How old is your mom? 87. 87. Because I'm seeing something going on with your mom now. Uh, lately, especially concerning her hearing and also her memory. Is there anything that yes. you have observed lately? Is there any confirmation? Yes. How, how is yes, it please. like? Okay. She, she's, um, they've been diagnosing her with... Um, um onset uh, dementia okay okay I, I i really want you to connect um and I, I need to also talk to you about um uh your your children especially joy joy how old is joy 24 24 i i, I um maybe next week we can do a one on one i need to talk to you about uh, your your children especially and i'll give some directions the lord has to pray that any health issue because when you are there at time you feel like whatever your mom is going through it may affect you in future at times you feel like that the lord says it will not come near you and god is healing your mom now i use you as a point of contact mm. I, are you close to your mom now yes i am yeah can you touch the, the head right now Thank you, Jesus. Because I saw her. That's why I said, who is Morel? Because I saw you were standing by her. I release the hand of God, Jesus. The hand of Jesus to heal her now in the name of Jesus. Father, set her free, God. Set her free, God. Heal her. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you. God bless you. So you can set up uh, some consulting for next week. I'll talk to you. Is that okay? Yes, Prophet. Okay. Hi, Prophet. I'm here. It's quite sincere. Who? What, sincere? Yes, please. Stretch your hands and let me prophesy to you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm yes. seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing something like I'm seeing something. The law says, he is going to give you victory. Victory concerning. Don't don't try to explain yourself.
too much to anybody. I don't know what is going on, but I see it's like uh, you are you are you are in the midst of something. And it's like you need to explain yourself. The Lord says He's going to speak for you. God will speak for you. God will help you. So God, you know, work with this word concerning victory, financial freedom, uh, concerning your happiness, and don't try to explain yourself too much and don't keep a lot of things in your heart. Is that okay? Because God says he's going to work out the victory for you in the name of Jesus. Number two, when you are sleeping, touch your abdomen. Your abdomen. When you are there at times, I see if there's, you know, something moving or something periodically like that. But I see God is healing you and God is taking away the pain in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Next caller. My prophet, this is Gisha. Yeah, Gisha, stretch once and let me prophesy to you. Gisha, this, these are the two things I'm seeing right now. The first thing I'm seeing is concerning your, like, when you are there, how do you feel concerning your your jaw? Like, your jaw, like your... your I don't like it. You said what? I do not like it. You do not like it. Uh, what is going on? It's, it's, it's stressful. Okay. I pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord says it's coming through for you. Receive progress. Receive happiness. In the name of Jesus. And number two, concerning companionship. 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 The Lord says, I'm seeing something like companionship, but I need to explain more further. So maybe next week, you can sign up for some consulting and I'll also talk to you. Because this is a new quarter of the year. That's why I need to do one-on-ones with a lot of people to give you, show you what to do for the new quarter of the year. Is that okay? But this one, I'm seeing something like companionship that God, that God is you know, doing. I need to talk to you, guide you concerning that. So you can sign up for some consulting. They will book you any of the days that I'm free. And we'll just, you know, okay. yes. May God bless you for your support. Bless Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Everybody pick your sort right now. Is How many people are left? <laughs> yes. Five more. Yes, please. Okay. Stretch once. This is Wendy Wong. Yes, please. Stretch once and let me prophesy to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm seeing, you know, Orthodox Church. You know, Orthodox, you know, like when I say like the Roman Catholic, you know, the, like yeah. praise, yes. I saw it's like a, a, a church like that and I saw you were in the church and it's like nobody was there. You were the only one, but you started praying. And whilst you started praying, so many people be, started coming to that church. The Lord says he has given you a gift, a revivalist, a revivalist. Write this. The Lord is going to use you to revive because always, I don't know how you were brought up. When you were growing up, were you uh, in a in a local church or like an orthodox or like, is there anything like... Can you, Pentecostal. Pentecostal, okay. Because I'm seeing some God is giving you the spirit of revival, revival, revival to your local church or like to where you start or something like that. God is going to use you, number two, there's going to be any lock, like a padlock, concerning finances. That lock is open. Receive it in Jesus' name. I receive it. You are blessed. May God Amen. bless you. Amen. Next caller, Fatima. Fatima? Yes. Yes, please. Hi, Prophet. How are you? I'm good. This is Fatima. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, where are you calling from? Come, I'm calling from Virginia. Virginia. Stretch once and let me prophesy to you. The Lord said I should pray for you concerning this thing I'm seeing. I saw something like a tree and it's like a family tree. A family tree. And all of a sudden the family tree, that tree I saw, it got uprooted. That means it came down. Anything that, you know, because lately you have been trying to write a lot of things down. You have been trying to observe 
a lot of things going on in your family and you realize that it's like everybody's going through that kind of thing you are you just try to examine it the law says any bloodline cases anything that affect women especially marriages and health may god deliver you any issue that is going on in your life and that of your family if it concerning your daughter about any men mental issue be free in the name of jesus be free in jesus name amen 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 bless you, Thank you. amen next caller Tashwana. Tashwana, stretch once let me pray. yes Tashwana, let me pray for you stretch once thank you lord jesus i see some like a teacher writing on a board and what is the meaning of that when a teacher writing about there's something about uh your 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 upbringing like that your upbringing the law says in the spirit of kind of feeling rejected feeling rejection like that the feeling of rejection there's always that fear that you'll be rejected or you'll be alone in the future that power is broken anything the law says you will be happy always prophesy happiness especially this month god i'm happy i will be happy I, my future will be happy like that don't be scared god is with you is that okay and i prophesy any i saw some like a dream and in the dream or like a snake i saw the face of a snake like that have you ever had any dream that you saw a snake no never never the lord has to pray any snake when you see snakes snakes live with people but what i'm seeing it means that people around you who don't like you anywhere at your workplace in your house wherever god should expose them that's the meaning yes. of snake because i see a lot of serious attack about at times you, do, you ask yourself i've never offended anybody but they hate me i've never offended is it true that is true yes that is the snake spirit i come against that spirit out be free in jesus name amen may god bless you let's call amen sir and i want oh. hi prophet Sanson. this is india yeah india please stretch once may god bless you i i i uh concern the direction i've received the direction so continue with the direction i've sent you check your email i've sent you stretch once i prophesy to you india the law says you shall be fruitful receive fruitfulness receive fruitfulness receive fruitfulness number two receive good medical report in jesus name amen bless you. i receive it amen thank you god bless you prophet amen i receive it amen next caller nikita good evening prophet nikita yeah nikita stretch once and let me prophesy to you right now i'm seeing like you've gone for a dinner and the dinner you are sitting down and you are talking to somebody who is quintarius quintarius or quintavius he's my kid's father your kid's father are, are you planning on okay. any or have you ever had a like a one-on-one -on -one lately like um or like have you scheduled to have a meeting like uh, like a one-on-one -on -one to clarify some things concerning your future or your progress in the relationship um no sir we talked about it but we have nothing planned or scheduled to to discuss so because oh. we always have conversations but it end up going into an argument so uh, okay. we, just, okay. we never got to a place where we can have a conversation okay but you guys are not married i'm not am i right but you are planning to get, yes. get it. yes so yes, sir. there's going to be a, a date it's going to be in the month of may ending of may from may going to ending i saw a meeting you and he the, uh, and, and him and um there are things i cannot say you know publicly so sign up for some consultant i will talk to you about how to go about it is that okay this time there's there's no yes, there's no going to be 
disagreement anymore. You need God's direction. <laughs> Amen. But God bless you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Prophet. God bless you. Amen. I receive it. Amen, Prophet. And the last um, caller. Caitlin Remy. Yeah, Caitlin, stretch your hands and let me prophesy to you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm seeing two things, Caitlin. The Lord says, thank you, Lord Jesus. You are not alone. There are a lot of times when you, you are there, you feel, you feel as if you are, you, you are, like you are, you are fighting too much or you are going through too much. The Lord says, you are not alone. His hand is upon you. And I prophesy the hand of God to bring you restoration restoration receive restoration number two anything that has delayed in your life the law says is give you speed to overcome delay because delay is prolonged pause i pray for you may god take away anything that has paused your progress any pass that has paused anything that has paused your movement i pray for breakthrough in jesus name amen you are free. I want everybody, please, get your salt by your side. Get salt, normal sea salt, wherever you are. You know, prophetic tokens like communion, salt. Q&A session is over. These are things Jesus himself recommended for us. <laughs> Jesus, I, I love Jesus too much. He said, have salt in yourself. Mark, uh, Mark chapter 9, verse 49 and 50. Jesus is talking. Have salt in yourselves. So that you may have peace of mind. I want you to just pour on a salt on the ground and put your feet on. We are doing what we call salt covenant. May by the salt covenant, may God preserve your soul, may God preserve your spirit, and may God preserve your body. Please don't play with these directions. Hmm. Can, can you even put in your socks? Yes, like that. Yes, let it cut, touch your body. In this season, People saw the eclipse. Darkness came over the face of the earth. What is going to happen? God will protect you. He will protect your body, your spirit, and your soul. God protect my body, my spirit, and my soul. Protect my body, my spirit, and my soul. Second Chronicles chapter 13 verse 5. So don't you know that the kingdom was given to David and to his children, hey, my Kolaba, by the covenant of salt, by the covenant of salt, anybody want to take your life, God is has given you life by the covenant of salt. Nobody can take from you any good thing that the devil is eyeing to try to take it. Your happiness, your life, your health, your movement, your job, by the covenant of salt, may God preserve you. May God protect you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May God bless you for being part of this. You can also document your best sacrifice. One, two, five. And it, you know, it should be from your heart. And God is going to bless you. And please, I want you to pray for me before you leave. Pray for me two minutes. Pray to cover me. There are a lot of prophecies and there are a lot of directions that we need to do. Tomorrow morning, a spiritual breakfast. Never forget that God is still in the miracle business. Always join us for our hour of miracle with Prophet Samson and Martin on every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 7 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. Central Time and Thursdays also 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 6 p.m. Central Time. Tomorrow, all those in Memphis, our Memphis for Christ family, Tomorrow we have church service, in-person church service. As I see your face, I will prophesy. There's no doubt. So wherever you are, I want to get connected. Connect to uh, the auditorium by 7 p.m. Central Time. If you have any friend living in that location, child of God, you need a word from God. You need to know God's opinion about yourself, about others, and about your situation. And God is going to bless you. So may God bless you. And thank you for joining me this hour of miracle with Prophet Samson and Martin. I'll see you um, next week, Tuesday and Thursday, same time. And also tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. 
Eastern Time, 5 a.m. Central Time. So shall, can you open the call queue right now? Can you continue and let's pray for me for two minutes whilst I'm on? Let's all pray for me. If you're watching, wherever, just wait. Uh, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for, to cover me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up the call queue. We're going to go ahead and pray for the man of God in this ministry and the powerful move of God that is happening with Sam TV, that God will continue to preserve him, increase his capacity, his energy, and his strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All participants are unmuted. <laughs> All participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks so much for tuning in on tonight for this Hour of Miracle with our powerful prophet, Samson Amwarton. We want you to know that there is no night too dark that day cannot break. You are too needed to be wasted. God bless you all.